Let's queer up politics. Democratic presidential hopeful RFK Jr. says trans frogs mean the water is turning kids trans. I see the, these huge levels of depression and despair, uh, loneliness in kids, and I don't think that there's a single cause to it. Um, and I think blaming it on, you know, depression about climate is probably oversimplistic. In fact, I think a lot of the problems we see in kids, and particularly boys, it's probably underappreciated um, that uh, how much of that is coming from chemical exposures, including a lot of the sexual dysphoria that we're seeing. They, I mean, they're swimming through a soup of toxic chemicals today. And many of those are endocrine disruptors. There's atrazine throughout our water supply. Atrazine, by the way, if you in a lab put atrazine in a tank full of frogs, it will chemically castrate and force, forcibly feminize every frog in there and 10 percent of the frogs the male frogs will uh will turn into fully viable females robert f kennedy jr thinks that chemicals in the water supply are turning kids trans the democratic presidential hopeful's crackpot theory involving male frogs turning into viable females is literally right out of jurassic park on a recent episode of anti-trans media figure jordan peterson's daily wire podcast Kennedy blamed huge levels of depression and despair in kids on chemical exposure. He claimed, quote, I think a lot of the problems we see in kids, and particularly boys, it's probably underappreciated how much of that is coming from chemical exposures, including a lot of sexual dysphoria that we're seeing. They're swimming through a soup of toxic chemicals today, and many of those are endocrine disruptors. There's atrazine throughout our water supply. If you in a lab put atrazine in a tank full of frogs, it will chemically castrate and forcibly feminize every frog, frog in there. And 10% of the frogs, the male frogs, will turn into fully viable females able to produce viable eggs. If it's doing that to frogs, there's a lot of other evidence that it's doing it to human beings as well, end quote. However, Twitter users were quick to ridicule Kennedy's absurd claim. So the first thing I thought of, let's get Faye what some atrazine. Then the <laughs> second thought I had was, this reminds me so much of all the televangelists that I used to listen to forcibly mm. in my house, is that they're very good at what they do, which is they take nuggets of truth. And I had to look up atrazine, and I had to look up any of these studies to see what grains and kernels of truth there are. And there are grains of truth in what he is saying with this chemical and with the frogs and feminizing That's properties. That's a great Just lie. Exactly. So they take little things like that, and then they say, would it then be a stretch? If we say all these kids who are on drugs, that maybe the drugs that they're on are contributing to some of their problems, which I agree with. I think we are over chemicalizing our kids. And then they said, well, then would it be a stretch if these kids uh, who are trans, it's, it's probably just because of that. And, and it's, uh, it's all chemical and we need to save these children. So he does, a, I mean, it's not a very good job, especially his delivery is not the best delivery it's but a somebody it's a, <laughs> it <laughs> it's a little froggy that's great yeah, um, yeah so i i don't think anybody's really buying that i don't i think he's such a fringe candidate um with his anti-vax stuff and all of the other um garbage that he he spews out there but it's it's um yeah it's the polit political climate that we're living in for this election buckle up everyone well it's like you said you know he gets a few buzzwords that sound smart that none of us know atrophine and endocrine and things like that and they're like oh better Google science that. science yeah. yeah and just um and our production staff does a great job but i just want to take a little issue with our the lower third here the word hopeful is doing a lot of heavy lifting <laughs> in this particular thing democratic presidential hopeful Democratic presidential crackpot is wow. what he is. Well, I am so proud of you getting through that story without laughing hilariously and being a real news person. Well, you know, I don't think I could have done that you know, without it, just giggling. I, well, I, I, it's I, so I agree <laughs> if uh, uh, the laughing issue, if it wasn't so damn serious. First off, RFK, um, probably a sizable percentage of our audience doesn't even know who we're talking about in the reference of RS, uh, RFK. Robert Kennedy uh, was um, a Democratic candidate uh, and assassinated in California and very likely would have been president of the United States. 
RF Kennedy is part of the legendary family of uh, Boston and Massachusetts, including JFK and um, Camelot. And this is the namesake son of Camelot, of the family of Camelot. I, when, and I've, I've listened to him a number of times, and every time I look at him, and, and we saw it, I don't know if we have a static image of his face, I see his father and I see John Kennedy in his face. And so there it is. I, that's a Kennedy profile. I see it, except it's not real. That's the only thing you see that is Kennedy. It's just his face. Because he is the antithesis of everything his father ever said in America. The antithesis. Because this guy is batshit. Batshit. And the other thing, uh, that's him. So he's dismissed. There's not a chance in the world for him. But the other really, I think, distressing thing on this story for all of us, I, you know, I hope we're aware of, I am, I am a free speechist. I, you know, I embrace Elon Musk's philosophy that you should have free speech and free uh, ideas and debate and discussion. And the reason is, is if you start there and you discuss, the circle gets wider and wider and wider. You bring more people in that contribute. They contribute different ideas and you come to best conclusion. That is how democracy works. That's not what Jordan Peterson's doing. Jordan Peterson, who is a genius in his own oh. right, uh, and, and he is, uh, and, 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 and RFK Jr., what they're doing is they're starting from a conceptual idea of what they want to prove and then discussing it and r increasing the circle and increasing the circle because of the pre-set uh, conclusion that they want to come to, which is the drugs is what causes ultimately getting to their anti-trans position. They don't want to get to truth. They want to use science to prove what their truth is, which is the complete opposite of democratic conversation. Mm -hmm. Jordan Peterson, therefore, becomes dangerous. And Robert Kennedy Jr., unfortunately for the family of Camelot, becomes a joke. That's why frogs are not funny. We are Queer News Tonight, the world's first and only live daily LGBTQ plus evening news show from Happening Out Television Network. In the model of PBS and NPR, we educate, inform, and entertain by supporting the 10 pillars of the LGBTQ plus community with more than 100,000 a week watching on Roku, Apple Television, and other channels. To keep the stories going, we accept donations with 100% transparency stay updated, and live authentically with Queer News Tonight.